I wouldn't know all the words to, you know, to the whole Ziggy album if it hadn't been for the Beatles, you know. I wouldn't be able to sing you every Jimmy Page solo if it wasn't for the Beatles. It's kind of, it's hard to fathom how, how much they really have changed my life. I, I think about that day in October and I was never the same person. I haven't been the same person since that day and I'm so happy that I'm not because I found this beautiful, beautiful community of people on Tumblr, on the Beatles submarine. You know, people that I, the kind of people that I don't get to have with me every day. I saw Karen and Jamie at the hotel for the Ringo concert. I was like, man, that's so cool. You know, when I see these people on Tumblr getting together and talking about, you know, their their friends, you know, getting together and doing Beatles stuff, you know, it's kind of like watching like, 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 uh, I don't know, like through, like through glass, you know, just like watching that everyone else doing all this stuff and sometimes, you know, I didn't, I don't have that yet. Maybe I don't have it yet, but I don't have that. You know, my dad, and I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm not grateful for having, you know, someone like my dad who, who gave me this music really in the first place. I have one really, really best friend and, um, and she appreciates rock. It's just, it's not the same. It's, it's not, it's just not the same, and I've met people, you know, like the people on the Beatles submarine. I know that all of you submariners probably understand where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about. I'm rambling and I'm going in a million directions, but you guys all know, you, you, you just, you know, you, you know what this, what, what this feels like, like what, you just, you're, because you're part of it. I think that's another thing that I also experienced when I saw Paul McCartney. I had always felt so alone in all of this because I loved it by myself. I can't talk to my friends about Paul McCartney's mustache in 1967 or I just, you know, I can't, I can't really talk about that to anyone who would listen or who would care or who could, you know, be like, yeah, oh my God, I don't have that. So I went to the Paul McCartney concert and there was a minute, a time or whatever when I looked out and they were singing Hey Jude and all you could hear was like this roar of everyone singing like na 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 and I stopped singing and I just kind of looked out and I looked out because the lights were on the audience and I looked out at everyone and I felt like I was at home like I like I like I was somewhere where everyone knew how I felt maybe not every single person but you know what I mean I was finally a part I was in it. I was I was in it and I was around people who loved this man and his music and what he had created, what he and his three friends had created. It's so weird. It's so weird to think about. You know, just, there's just so many things in this world that have gone past through this world, so many people, so many things and that these just these four guys in the name Beatles that you see it and just, they mean so much to me. And I don't say this from like the obsessive fangirl side because that that's what all of that is. I mean, and no, it's not entirely, but you know, like they are my everything. It's not a matter of that kind of thing. It's just that deep down, like they literally just mean so much to me. They've changed. They've changed me for the better. They really have. They've given me these views on life these opinions, these feelings, you know, I didn't know what love was. I didn't know what loving someone was like and Paul McCartney and it sounds really stupid and I hate talking about this stuff really, but you know, I, 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 I'll never like someone like I like Paul McCartney because you know, he's pretty, it's, it's, yeah, okay, but it's not that, it's just that out of those four, he's just like the little special one that I happen to have a really, really, really big crush on. It's that feeling that, you know, um, at like three in the morning, if I'm pissed off at the world, that I can turn on, you know, treat her gently, and all of a sudden all my troubles go away, that, that a song can make me cry that I listened to yesterday and I tear up because it's just beautiful, and that I can watch Rock Show, you know, the Winds Over America concert, and just, just totally be mesmerized by this one man who just... Cause he gave me, he gave, he, he continues, he, you know, he gave me hope, you know, friendship, 
to me. So I learned what all that was, you know, what I learned what 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 sorrow was, you know, that I'm not going to be able to hold his hand, you know, like that that kind of stuff. They gave me that. And while it sucks sometimes to feel that way, Sometimes it doesn't suck. Sometimes it feels great, you know, that I can just kind of pretend that I'm in the cavern club and have a great time with my four boys. There's a Jimmy Page quote that says, or not a quote, but he said something along the lines of, you know, music is the only thing that has consistently been there for me. And I remember when I first started, I was like, yeah, I guess that's true music. But, you know, now I feel like as we grow older and um, or we mature and we become more aware of you know how different uh, things impact us just you know what you see at home what you do at school who you hang out with just you know little scenarios that just really piece together your existence you kind of become more aware of what what really drives you your favorite things and stuff like that and I realized I learned that you know man that's right, music for me, maybe for many of you who are watching this, specifically the music of the Beatles for right now, you know, has been the one thing that is just consistently there for me. I can't rely on my friends because they might say something that'll get me in a shit mood. I don't want any, I want to take this the wrong way, but you can't really rely on your parents either. Because you're going to fight with your parents. Everyone does. Your dad can say something wrong. Your mom can say something wrong. It just ruins your mood, ruins your day. You can't, uh, you, can, you know, you can't really depend on, well, at least me. I can't depend on all that stuff. And I'm not saying that I don't care about them, that I don't love them. I'm not saying any of that. And I'm not choosing the music over all of these things that I have. Because I'm fortunate to have a house family, both my parents, a sister, you know, I'm not, I'm not pushing that aside for the Beatles. I would never do that, but I'm talking about feeling, and this, this is my reality, and this is the truth. I can't depend on all of that all the time for happiness, for joy. My parents gave me life. We're going on a trip to New York, you know, I, I recognize all of that and I'm thankful for that, but my reality is that I can't depend on all of that 100% of the time. Beatles is the one thing that I can go to no matter what that I know will make me happy, will make me smile when there are tears pouring down my face, that will calm me down when I'm stressed. Just they've been the source of utter happiness for me and they've given me so much that I am so thankful for and I will be eternally grateful for. Hopefully I've made some sense because it's like 22 minutes in and I've probably done nothing but ramble but I do hope that you guys understand. Like I'll, I'll summarize it now. Just the Beatles, the Beatles changed my life. They gave me friendship when I didn't have any around me. They gave me happiness. And they give me happiness when I don't have it. They make me feel good when when I when I feel bad, you know, it just that that didn't make sense. That's what the Beatles mean to me. That's what the little guitar riffs in anthology and the Decca records and the stories about Hamburg. That's what all of that means to me. It means safety, it means home, it means happiness. On a lighter note, that's just I feel like that's what it is for everyone. It's just it's happiness. It's, I don't think you can really put it into words or describe it, but that's what they are to me. They changed my life. They gave me direction, security, comfort, happiness. And I know that for as long as I live, I will be grateful to them. Whether I meet any of them or not ever in my life, I will be grateful to them for everything that they've done for me. They don't know that they've done it. Maybe they'll never know that they've done it, but I know they did. So on this day that the two founding members, yeah, I guess the two founding members met, I think about that. And I get kind of emotional, but a good, a good emotional. And they mean the world to me. And I'm so glad that I have you know, put myself in, in, that have joined this world, this community, this, this beautiful, beautiful thing that is the music of the Beatles and 
what they've done. Um, I hope I haven't rambled too much. This is very unorganized and I've, I know I've talked for a long time. Uh, maybe I'll make a video later, you know, later with the, in the near future with, uh, you know, talking about this in a bit more organized way. But um, I just, I wanted to share this with you today. So in conclusion, just, you know, I love the Beatles and I always will. And for all of you who are watching this and kind of more or less know where I'm coming from and all that, I appreciate you as people. And I'm glad that, you know, that we get to share this, um, that we get to share this, this, this music and this feeling. So thank you all for listening to this very, very long video. That's what I had to say today. So happy McLennan Day, if you want to call it that. Uh, go listen to the Beatles, go have fun, go be happy. Uh, if you have any comments or um, things you want to add or what you had to say about this topic or anything you want to whatever, leave it in the comments below and I promise you I will read it. Um, so yeah guys, thank you for going through all of, you know, for listening to this entire thing. If you made it to this point and um, happy July 6th. See you next week guys. Bye.